Hey YouTube land, welcome once again to another action figure review from Ticonderous. Now I'm doing uh, two figures out of a three figure wave. I haven't picked up the third figure. But uh, these are the Space Force figures. Now I picked these up at Big Bad Toy Store. I think they're still available or they might be on pre-order again. Sometimes they go to um, things where you they'll have stuff in, they'll sell out and then they put pre-orders up again for them. But these are made by Amazo Toys. Uh, if I just bring the box in, they come in with kind of unique box packaging. So this is the AmazoToys.com. Now, if you're familiar with uh, the Eagle Force, or the Eagle Force Revival figures, which is, this is one of them. There's um, a company called, was it Fresh? Fresh Fiction Monkey are doing these but they're also under Zika. Zika Toys were the crowd that did the Sectors figures. Uh, a lot of the design and uh, aspects of these Amazo figures kind of seem to be from those as well. So I think Zico is kind of like the parent design company whereas the distribution and the idea behind the figures are the Amazo Toys. Because they seem to share a lot of um, similarities. Like if I bring in is it Zan Zatini. Now I haven't done a review of this guy. But I'll show what I mean in a moment when I go through the figures. I'll just compare them. They have a lot of similar parts. So the two figures I have is Alpha Commander. Or the United States Alpha Commander uh, Space Force. And then we have the CCPR. Yeah, the CCCP. Uh, Russian cosmonaut um, style figure and they only have one figure for the uh, the Russians they, have, they seem to have two for this, the United States so that they it is what it is uh, they do share a lot of parts uh, pretty much everything bar the heads are the same so if I bring in the Alpha Commander here he, both figures come with these bubble hamlets now you don't really need the bubble hamlet for the the US ones uh, they're just a two piece bubble hamlet they have small pegs so you have to be careful with them but they do fit side, uh, fit together and then there's a groove inside this kind of um, harness piece that it fits into but the head is on a just ball joint so it can move side to side and get some uh, not so much up because of the way the helmet is sculpted it kind of you know smacks off the back of the helmet or the head the neck the waist is a one piece design so you have a ball joint you should be able to get some side to side it does rock for side to side for the back you get arm joints that can go all the way up that way you can rotate all the way around you have a single joint elbow you have a wrist swivel and then you have a hinge on the wrist and the hist rings a hinge on the wrist. Um, paint apps are quite nice. So you have like this white, red, right, white and blue for the United States, and then you have like a a red for the Russian with the uh, kind of Russian uh, hammer and sickle symbol on the side. I know Russian figures probably are not the highlight of most people's. Um, uh, collection at the moment at the present time of this recording anyway uh, but um, I picked this guy up well before any of that uh, invasion stuff happened and he's based on the kind of old classic uh, the main reason I got this guy because I love the bubble hamlet I, it just reminds me of those old classic kind of like Moonraker style um, you know 60s style kind of space adventure type things and it's these were the only ones that have kind of like a more human head underneath the helmet as opposed to the space, the United Space ones. They all have like that enclosed helmet. Uh, same deal with this one. You can just pop off the helmet. As far as I can tell, the helmets are identical. And then you have this kind of masked, kind of evil henchman side sort of look head. It actually reminds me a lot of the uh, henchmen from... Uh, Venture Brothers, the um, <clears throat> was it the Monarchs henchmen, the kind of helmet or uh, hats they wore. Uh, they get the same articulation on this guy, so you can go side to side, forward and back. 
don't get much of a twist on it. It does feel like it's going to snap the peg if you do try to twist. You do have the same articulation in the arms. You should have continued with the legs. You have forward and back, double jointed knees on the legs. There's actually a boot cut swivel. And then you have a rocker hinge. So, and if you take a look at the figures, they're pretty much identical, except for the leg here has a pouch, whereas the the Space Force, the United States one, doesn't. Harnesses do appear to be the same harness as well. So the only difference is the logos on the center of the buttons. You have a CCCP one for the Russian one, and you have the kind of a United States Space Force. You have like you know the United States kind of iconography. You have the flag on the side. So you have they look kind of like a mixture of kind of fantasy kind of, and you know regular style space um force stuff, which is kind of cool. Now for accessories, other than the helmet and as you can see this guy's where has his pistol in his hand, you do get a little baggie inside here with a whole bunch of extra parts. Well, it's more just extra hands. And if I just try and open it up and take out all everything. So you have this machine gun which has a stock on it and I believe it's the exact same machine gun that comes with the Russian guy, yep, um, exact same machine gun, you get the exact same pistol, uh, it's just done in a silver, there's no real paint apps on these, they're just done in base kind of silver paint, then you get two pairs of these outstretched hands, which I already have on one of them on the Russian guy, it's the same hand sculpt, just the Russian ones is done in black, the US one has a blue paint app but it's done in white so you have a kind of a grip hand for stuff like swords or knives or any of that kind of stuff it's, it doesn't have a pistol grip and then you have a punching fist and you have a corresponding right hand or left hand for whichever one I just showed off there I think those are all the they're the right for the grip and the punch but it was the left for the open palm so you have a corresponding one for the actual opposite hand or the off hand whichever way you want to describe it as the same thing for the russian guy but he has one extra accessory we just get all these in back into the bag without losing them and spilling them all over the place it is handy that they do come in that packaging uh the it may look like their gear isn't in there when you look at them first in the packaging but the way it's done is the gear is actually down here so these are for 15 plus I didn't really go on about the boxes there. The boxes are unique in the way that the figures, you know, this one's been turned around. It should be facing uh, facing out. The, you can see where the plastic tray holds the figure. So you kind of just, which side did I open? I opened the top, so it kind of just opens up at the top and you just slide the figure in and out. And you can put it back together. It can be a little bit tricky to get the lid back on. Yeah, nearly there. There we go. So the lid does goes on. It do, does go on. And you have a little handle if you want to hang these up. No, the one thing that would be hard about them hanging them up is that they have the box is round like a soda can, so it might be a bit difficult. You do have some images on the back. So this is the Alpha Commander. Uh, the one underneath here is the Beta Commander, and then you have the Russian guy. Now, you, if you look at all the different heads in the background. As far as I know, the Kickstarter for these had a extra set of heads. So for the Russian ones, you had stuff like um, Rasputin, you know, kind of iconic kind of Russian characters. For the US ones, you had like Uncle Sam. Uh, I think there was like one of the chimpanzees from the space missions. Uh, I think it might have been Buzz Aldrin or um, Neil Armstrong was one of the other heads. So you had like, you know, iconic space varying um characters from history uh the exception is with the russian one there was like a robotic head which was it it reminded me a lot of i'm trying to remember what it was um it kind of reminded me a bit of the iron giant kind of type thing but it was you know mono eye so it was kind of like a bit like uh kind of ultron type thing but uh the extra heads look cool 
Unfortunately, they were, I think they were a Kickstarter exclusive. So the only way to get those was to back it via Kickstarter. So for the Russian guy, the Cosmonaut, um, again, he has all the same hands with the, um, with the same gun. I just won't take them out so they don't get lost. They all have a hinge. But he does come with one other accessory, which is this red beret that just fits over his head. So you have a red beret for him. Now the beret, from what I can tell, is exactly the same as the beret that came with this guy. Hence why they seem to be using a lot of the same kind of designs. Even the legs on these guys, the upper legs are the same. Uh, the waist, I think, is the same as well. The upper body is different. This is more of a a skin suit sort of type deal whereas this is actually a sculpted suit but you can see the articulation is pretty much the same double jointed leg or double jointed knees you have the single hinge elbow you have again just like with these guys the space guys you get a whole bunch of extra hands for this one uh now when i get around to reviewing this guy because i've actually had him for quite a while i just never got around to reviewing him i do have two of the eagle force figures so i have captain eagle which is like the main hero leader of the team and then this guy which is Santini so I will get around to reviewing these guys at some point I just haven't had the chance to um mainly because I was waiting to get that Captain Eagle guy just to start to kind of kick it off but uh overall these guys are really really cool I do enjoy the design of these guys they make great kind of army builders for space troops they do fit in with a lot of other scales so if I just bring in <clears throat> this is the uh what you call it the jurassic world figures so she does fit in with that if i just bring in i have the higher toys cane in spacesuit which i haven't yet reviewed but they're around the same same height i'll we'll grab another spacesuit style figure which is the core elite well, actually, this one is from the Aliens collection, but they reused the space space troops troopers stuff that they made for that line. And if you have them, oops, I have one of them here. Here a moment. This is one of the space troopers. Knock everyone over. Yep. Let's move stuff out of the way so you can see. Put these guys back into the forefront. You just that. These guys work really well with the Haya Toys aliens. Um, this is one of the actual Leonard ones, the from the aliens collection. So they're the brightly coloured. So you have like they work well with those as well. If I just throw one of these ones up behind. This is one of the space troopers. Uh, figures or star troopers i think they're called is it star troopers or space troopers i think it's star troopers you can see they kind of work with those and then here is the one of the alien creatures from that same line which i've already reviewed and you can see they kind of work cool and well with this line as well Overall, really nice figures. They're not too overly expensive. I think they're only about $24, I think was what they are. So they're a bit dearer than your average. Well, they're about the same price as a Marvel Legend now, which is, I think they've gone up in price. But the amount of little ha uh, extra hands and stuff in bits you get was kind of does offset the, um, the value. So they are pretty nice. So do recommend picking these guys up if you can get a hold of them if you're a fan of kind of like space troopers and stuff like that you could easily army build them you could probably head swap with um kind of current lines maybe with gi joe and have like a space what were they called star force space force star brigade you could make some custom star brigade gi joes out of these guys i would imagine it just you know it depends on which way you want to do it but overall these little guys are pretty good oh and they do have double peg holes on their feet for some reason even though they don't come with a base so unless now they're planning to do something with those 
I don't think, yeah, the actual, these guys have a double peg hole system on their base, they, or on their feet, they don't come with bases yet, they might be planning something with those um, double pegs to make them, you know, utilise them a bit better, I don't know, but overall, really good fitters, and I do recommend them, so I hope this video has been entertaining and enjoyable for you, so, and please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and I hope you enjoy this video, cheers guys.